Hi, it is Dr. Atif and today's session is to demonstrate how we can uh, use assertions with system Verilog code and here we'll show how we can do behavioral simulation where assertions are already there and how we can synthesize the system Verilog code. So these are the topics which will be covered under this uh, short video the circuit requirements and associated assertions, system Verilog code of digital circuit and the assertions. Then we'll uh, see how we can bind all these things in a test bench where we can generate a stimulus to run the circuit, the digital circuit, and then we can uh, see the results of the assertions. Then we'll uh, have a demo on uh, verification through assertions using Questasim software. And finally, a project will be made in Vivado Design Suite for the system very log code to synthesize the design. So first, coming to the circuit requirement and associated assertions. Here we have a circuit where we have three masters a mediator and two targets. So three master devices and two target devices. A link is established between the master and the target devices through the mediator. At a given time only one master can conduct a transaction and with only one target device. Any master device can conduct a transaction with any target device. The transaction can be read or write. Finally, the arbiter uses a simple round robin technique to give access to masters. These are the requirements of the system and once we talk about associated assertions, FSM should always behave as a one hot state machine. From idle state, the FSM cannot go to idle 1, idle 2 or idle 3 states. The property P forbid Trans1 verifies that if the current state is idle 1, idle 2 or idle 3, then the state of FSM in the previous cycle cannot be idle. The third check makes sure that if the FSM is in a certain master state, then the next transaction will always be to the idle static state specific to the master state. Fourth, make sure that the FSM will always transition to a master state from, a, from an idle state assuming that the FSM is not reset in between. There should be a grant for every request sent to the arbiter and the last one is to check for the fairness of arbiter that is to make sure that all the masters are getting equal number of grants. So these two uh, slides show what were the requirements of the circuit and what assertions will uh, put there to see if the circuit is fine. So now our next step is to see the system very log code for the digital circuits for which the requirements have already been established and how we can write those the code of those assertions which have been shown in previous uh, step. 